Here we go then. It's the very, 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 very first episode of Spud Life. The podcast, the podcast, the, the Spudcast. <laughs> it's the Spudcast with Tatty Tim. No, it's the podcast with Tatty Tim. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? I'm Tatty Tim. So who's Tatty Tim, I hear you ask? Well, it's me. And I hopefully we'll get to know one another over the next coming weeks, months, years. I'm going to tell you all about my life, how I started the business, what I'm into. So yeah, we're going to get some guests on, talk talk to people about all sorts of different things. As you can imagine, I've been doing this now for 27 years. So not podcasting, obviously. This is my very first one. That's why it sounds so shit. So, but no, yeah, doing potatoes, I've met you know thousands and thousands of people over the years as you can imagine and i've met some really really cool and interesting people and hopefully i know enough people that they might want to come on and embarrass themselves sitting in with me in the studio which is actually the caravan on my front drive aka the caravan of love okay so i'm one of the last remaining authentic baked potato vendors sellers in the whole wide world, yes, I am indeed. It's uh, what used to be a common sight, particularly when I was growing up in Birmingham, uh, so in the 70s and early 80s, there were sort of baked potato guys, not on every street corner, but you know what I'm saying, they were, they were very popular and all over the place. But now, the demise, I don't know what's happened, but um, they're just not as a popular sight as they used to be. So yeah, mine's a replica of a authentic Victorian baked potato oven. I've got it all sort of blinged up in the oldie worldy style. You can see pictures of me, that's if you really want to, that is. Um, I'm on my Facebook page, or you can just Google Tatty Tim's World Famous Baked Potatoes. There'll be some pictures of my ugly mug on there with people, and you'll get a rough idea of what I'm about, what the store looks like, what I look like, sort of everything really and like i said i've been doing it now for the past 27 years so needless to say i think i pretty much know a little bit about this and that so how to run a business it's particularly street food i mean the baked potato sellers they were probably one of the very first street english street food sellers in the world uh, i've got pictures and sort of data going back to the sort of mid early to mid victorian times of guys on the street uh there's pictures there's even references in some of charles dickens's uh works yeah and although i've kind of basically been on the street up north in the in penrith town center i've done markets i've done the markets i've done shows events i do outside catering you know all sorts of all sorts of stuff that i can do with you then i have actually done it um so there isn't a lot I don't really know about the game. So I'll be telling you sort of ins and outs if there's anybody out there that's thinking of starting their own catering business or just a g business generally. I'll be giving information, tips, do's, don'ts, what it's actually really like to be self-employed. You know, the pros and the cons, and all those sort of things like that. And also as well as uh, being a baked potato man for the last 27 years as I keep telling you I was also a retained firefighter which is a on-call firefighter part-time firefighter which we like to call it here in the at the local station and you know I've got anecdotes and stories to tell about my days as a fireman firefighter whatever you want to call us I had a great time when I was in the fire service oh man some of the some of the stuff we did and the the crazy things you see some of the stuff you do it's like yeah, it's insane but yeah i'll be telling the stories that i can tell of of those days and maybe giving people tips that are thinking of joining the fire service you know what to do how to get in there i mean it was sort of how long ago now i've been out i think i've been out probably coming on eight years plus so things will have changed but the general sort of ethos will be the same of, of, of what people are looking for in an, in an employer employee <laughs> employer i was also a member of the penrith lions club which i was asked to join a few years ago which was uh, quite an honor 
did a bit of voluntary work with those guys. Unfortunately, due to family and sort of work commitments, I couldn't give the 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 full attention that it would have needed for me to I had to not necessarily re resign my position, but I'm now called what's known as a lion at large. So you're still a member of the lions, but you're not an active member. And I've been the chairman. Are you allowed to say chairman these days? Chairperson of the Penrith Business Improvement District, which is BID, which is a, a conglomerate of local businesses that all sort of put a lot of money into the pot. And you, you're then tasked with what you think is the best way to spend that money to improve the business district in your town centre. Again, that was another fantastic opportunity that I had in my life. And it kind of... You, you, you're you talking to other business owners, you're all in the same sort of boat, you know, regardless of what business you're in. But it was interesting to listen to what their concerns were compared to yours and hopefully alleviate some of their worries, maybe spend some money to help improve their sort of problems that they might be encountering within their business. So, yeah, that was another a really, really interesting chapter that was uh, that was part of my life. So in a nutshell, basically I'm Tate Tim. I've got a baked potato business. It's one of the last authentic baked potato business left in the whole wide world. I've been the chairman, chairperson of the Business Improvement District. I was in the Penrith Lions Club and I was a firefighter for approximately 15 years. At the same time, I run the business, which is quite a challenge in itself. Uh, but, you know, there's loads of guys out there that do it, so I'm not unique. But yeah, I'll tell you, I'll be telling you stories from, you know, all of those all of those different things. Plus, my other little quirks, I'm an absolute music nut. I love music. I say my default setting is probably rock and metal. Um, but I do enjoy most sort of some forms of music, some more than others uh but you know you know, it's all creativity isn't it i love creativity i love people that are creative i love people that are different and alternative i love alternative culture uh i'm kind of a bit alternative myself although it's weird when you're you know people see you as a businessman i'm not i suppose i am a businessman but i'm not uh but i am yeah i am so but it's uh i love that i've mad on films as well absolutely love films i think have i got a particular genre i've got a lot of favorite films but i suppose it's the same with it's the same with music isn't it it depends on what mood you're in at the time because if someone asked you to pick your favorite song it would depend where your head is at that moment wouldn't it whereas you know probably it's the same with your favorite film uh I wouldn't like to say if someone put a gun to my head now. What's your favourite film? Mm, probably the Godfather, Godfather trilogy. They're probably the my favourites. Yeah, if I if I had to really, really pin it down to a, a favourite one, but I'm an absolute horror nut as well. I love reading. I love reading. Full stop. But um, I'm currently reading some really good horror novels, uh, horror films. I love horror films. They're just so... Uh, they're just fantastic. I mean, that's going to be a, an episode for another time, just my love of horror and how cheesy, how crap it is. I don't know. It's just, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? But it's... Oh, I love it. It's like... But they, they don't make a good horror films anymore. I think that the last ones were maybe the insidious -y type ones uh, nothing particularly scary tell a lie I just saw there's a film called come out called smile that was that was all right it was something a bit different but yeah it's uh it's a funny one but yeah so I'm into horror I'm into metal which is obviously a given in it you know I've got uh, a beard not that that really matters don't hold that against me got long hair don't don't hold that against me either um got tattoos oh my god it's just getting worse how many people have just signed off so if you like what you hear uh, you think you just want to escape for half an hour every week listening to me ramble on about stuff then this is going to be the podcast for you it's going to be quirky it's going to be bizarre a bit alternative probably a bit informative but you know there's going to be some chat there's going to be loads of conversations there's going to be all sorts of stories from you know you can imagine 27 years on the street I've seen a lot, man. So, 
it's going to be it's going to be all right it's going to be fun more than anything it's going to be fun i'm going to enjoy it and i'm hope that you are going to enjoy it too uh like i say if we get some really good good guests i'm like i'm meeting people all the time still meeting people i'm going to incorporate that into all my social medias as well so we can uh you know create a little family environment everybody coming down having some fun having your pictures talk come and meet me have a laugh and uh just escape the mundane realities of life for a half an hour a week maybe so i think the format of the show is what i'm going to do is sort of every week pick, pick a subject uh whether it's picked by me or by yourselves uh or i might even have a guest on and that'll be the sort of first portion sort of half of the show and then the then the maybe be a bit of an advert and then the second half of the show will be you know a diary of the week uh to see what's gone on what's the weather's been like which is usually raining to be fair uh and then just a general sort of rundown of my week what it's been like and then that'll be it and talking of that being it i think that'll do for the rest of this show would you call it a show more of a teaser maybe so if I have teased you enough, then join me next time in the Caravan of Love for more Spud Life with me, Tay Tim. So don't forget you can follow me on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, just Google Tay Tim, it's all there. Thank you so much for listening, for those of you that made it to the end. So until next time, I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen. Teddy Tim has left the building.